Wow, these pieces Lisa sent us are just incredible. Man, thanks a lot for these. We're about to take a closer look at them right now. Now, before we get too far into this video, I'm just going to say right now that I'm probably going to be saying these things are awesome or incredible a ton because, well, they're awesome and incredible. And I've even recorded this once already, but I did it early in the morning and I just sounded dead. So we're going to record it so we can sound a bit more excited because I am definitely excited about these. I mean, look at that. Some Druzy Quartz from Haunted Ridge. I believe it's in Missouri. Yeah, it's in Missouri. But even the bottom of this piece is incredible. You can see the iron staining and the Druzy Quartz in the back. And then if we flip it around front, not so much iron staining, but more iron deposits on this piece, which makes it look really cool. I think we're going to keep it just like that. Up next, we have this awesome trilobite. Now, I don't have a location on this piece, but that's okay. This thing is still incredible. It sparkles a lot too, which is kind of interesting for a trilobite. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But one thing that I caught earlier on this piece that was neat is we have a little crinoid imprint right there. Let me try and get closer. Ooh, getting shaky. Sorry. But yeah, that was super cool and a surprise. I'm not even sure if Lisa knew that or not. Let's grab another piece of quartz here. Now this is probably my favorite piece of quartz just because the crystals on it are big and pointy. They are also sharp, so we gotta be careful of that. And if you look on the surface, we have some calcite, I believe, with some iron staining. So that is super neat. I'll take a minute here and just show you guys this piece closer. Oh, that's a really good view. Check that out. But this is super cool. Thanks a lot, Lisa. Up next, we have a polished ammonite. Now, not only is this thing see-through on the bottom, which I think is cool, but if you look on the surface, we have a little bit of red glare. And I'm probably gonna mispronounce this, but I believe this is amylite. There, you can see it really good right there. So that's crazy. Even if that's not amylite, this whole piece is just awesome. And then our next fossil here is a big chunk of baculite. Let me zoom out a little. Now this piece is awesome. I don't even have any baculites in my collection, so this was a first. And for that, I'm very thankful. And I believe Lisa said there was some Nacar or Nacre. I probably mispronounced that too. But she said it was still on the surface here, which I believe to be the white stuff. Or the translucent slash white stuff. Which is really neat. Let me give you a look here on the end. How incredible is that? Just think, if a fragment of this fossil is this big, how big was the entire animal? 
That's what goes through my head anyway. And that's just crazy awesome. And last but not least, and honestly, this might be my favorite crystal piece. I haven't really decided. It's so hard to choose. But here we have another piece of Druzy crystal from Haunted Ridge. Here's the bottom of it, which is cool. As you can see here, we have some agate banding. And when I turn it around, you're going to see even more. But how awesome is that? Wow. Here's more of that agate banding around the opening here. And this stuff is just crazy. It's probably the best part right here. And then obviously this cavity right here is still really dirty. I'm probably going to clean this out with peroxide at a later date. But I didn't have any on me right now. So we're going to do that a different video. But just imagine how cool that will look when it's cleaned out. Can we focus all the way back there? Oh, we can. Look at that. Yeah, that's going to look insane when we clean it out. Wow. I'm just amazed by this. So, as we wrap it up here, I just want to give one more huge shout out to Lisa. The fact that she sent these things out as gifts is just incredible. And with the holidays coming up, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Or however you spend your holidays, I hope you enjoy yourself. Stay safe, and I will see you next time.